Do baby shark do 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 do. Some of this. Uh, yes, that's what I want. Some of that. Oh, what's up? Hey, you guys didn't hear me just singing. That's my kid's song, Baby Shark. Anyways, hey, I got some new comics. You guys want to see the new comics I got? All right, came in here to get me a snack real quick and got it, string cheese. So, you guys head downstairs. I'll be down in just a minute. I'll show you the latest comics I just picked up. See you soon. For the record, for the record, for the record. For the rugged. Been a little too nice to y'all. Now I got a up price for y'all. Snake eyes on dice for y'all. Shoulders on ice for y'all. A6 all the hay. I won't get involved today. Got lost in the ball and A's. I'm flipping the bars. I'm flipping the flipping the flipping the all record all record. I still count wins when they got it. All record all record. I let them take advantage. I was wildin'. All record all record deals. Tell them talk to Colin for the quote. All record all record. I still want to act not the ghost. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. That's right. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stone for you. That's right. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to make no time to waste. I am Brian. This is Simple Man's Comics. So I picked up some comics, a couple other things, and I want to show them off to you guys. Show you what I picked up. Nothing too extravagant, but real quick, if this is your first time here, I do a lot of comic book pop culture toy unboxing related videos so please click that subscribe button hit that bell notification that way you never miss a future video but let's go ahead and get into the comics first we'll go with some raw comics Ooh, baby i like it raw yeah baby i like it raw i like me some raw comics first up i got a couple i ordered these off source point press this has uh, been pretty big right now bob sally phenomenal writer on this series um I picked up three copies of Ogre Number One. I ordered this right off Source Point Press's website when they uh, when the first issue came out. So hadn't shown those. Glad to have that. Next was a uh, Green Lantern Number One. Like I said, nothing too extravagant. This was the Frank Quitely variant. If we can get this. Oh, this one. There was a person on Instagram. Poor Man's Comics, he posted this, he picked it up. I had never seen it before, and I instantly fell in love with it, and it is this Freddy vs. Jason vs. Ash. This is a variant. This is actually a J. Scott Campbell variant. Love this cover. I'm glad he posted it. Of course, I copied him and went right on eBay and picked me up a copy. Next, this is uh, Spawn 289. This is the Francisco Matina Fan Expo Canada variant. Um... Got this from a friend of mine on CBSI. Was happy to get this from him. One of my favorite covers, so glad to have that. The Savage Shores number two. This is a fantastic story. Vault Comics. If you guys aren't reading this, definitely recommend it. If you like vampires, fantastic. Then, of course, I got Heroes in Crisis number three. Number four just came out. This is another great story. DC's really been doing well on this. Three copies of... Along these Savage Shores number one. This is the second print. This is the Tomb of Dracula homage. Fantastic cover. Like I said, great story. So these I will be sending out probably most likely in Patreon, my Patreon supporter boxes. So awesome cover. This one, the Zenoscope book, Black, Black Knight number two. Um, I didn't pick this up for the book. I actually picked it up for the cover. Uh, it's a Josh Burns cover, one of my favorite artists. There's a lot of fantastic covers, especially for Zenoscope. So I'll usually pick these up whenever I see them. But Josh Burns, fantastic. Martian Manhunter number one. This is the uh, Josh Middleton variant for it. Came out a few, uh, few weeks ago. Actually, number two just came out. So yeah, I'm a little behind on my haul videos. Green Lantern number two variant. This I've picked up a couple copies of. Um, I've actually been buying these. If I can find them less than $10, I've been picking these up. Um, this is Spider-Man 234. This is the 1 in 25 variant. Um, I picked these up because of Spider-Man Homecoming and Spider-Verse um, Aaron Davis, who is Miles Morales' uncle. In this, he's actually in Earth 616. 
he's no longer the Prowler, but it's actually revealed that he is Iron Spider, and he gets the Sinister Six back together. So it's 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 odd, off the wall spec, but for ten bucks, um, I'm picking them up, stash them away if anything happens with it. Great. If not, it's ten bucks, and it's actually I really like the cover for it. This one I picked up. Um, this was actually a Baltimore Comic Con pickup that I didn't show in my last haul. Rob Zombie Creep Show. Love these books. I didn't pay fifteen dollars for it. Actually, usually I'll scrounge around, find a bunch of books, and then get the best deal I can. But uh, the person I bought it from was. Had a table there. They were out of Massachusetts. I forget uh, what the name of the vendor was. But my friend who's a Yankees fan had a good time with them over Boston. But I told them to hold off and let me buy my comics first. Because I didn't want to get a bad deal when they start talking smack. I'm a San Francisco Giants fan, by the way. Then, this one I picked up online. Off, I did some random obscure search. This is the um, Masters of the Universe Special Preview Edition. Uh, these go pretty well on eBay. I actually found it online from some random online comic store, and I actually paid 8 bucks for it. So, huge Masters of the Universe fan. Whenever I find stuff like this, I definitely always pick it up. It's in good condition, and they sent it in, in a heavy Mylar bag and board, so fantastic. Next, we have Injustice Guys Among Us number 1. Awesome, 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 awesome series course based on the video game but I also this was part of that other deal where I didn't pay the extra 20 bucks for it but I'd love to have this in 9.8 but I don't feel like spending the money for it right now and they don't come up too often but whenever I see these and can find them for a decent price I'll pick these up as well these I actually picked up at the source point press booth at Baltimore Comic Con which also didn't show in my last haul and it's copies of the rejected and then the rejected second print and both of them are signed by the writer of uh Stan Kanopka, so pick these up there. Glad to have them. Good book. Second book's about to come out. These I picked up at Stranger Comics. More Baltimore stuff. Sorry, super late and forgot to show these. But um, pick these up. Awesome, fantastic four homage covers. I thought they were the exact same cover, but they actually have. <laughs> See, I had to look again. They actually have different characters in there. So I'll show you that one. And then uh, right here. And of course, pick this one up as well. Stranger Comics, great great group of guys. Glad to support them. So um, whenever I can, if I can pick a couple of their books. Especially talk to them at the booth. Uh, Sebastian's awesome guy. So always glad to help them out. This... Uh, I actually got this for free with um, purchase of graded comic that I'll show here in a little bit. And they actually sent two copies of it, which is actually really cool. Um, DNA Card World, great group of guys. eBay store, online store, but I'll show you what I got graded from them in a little bit. And then the Spider Girls number one, one in 50, picked this up when it came out. Pre-ordered it through my LCS, Third Eye Comics, awesome group of guys as well. So, definitely glad to have that. Moon Knight 200, nothing too extravagant, of course, but David Finch cover on it. It's fantastic, so glad to pick that up. And one more that I picked up was this J. Scott Campbell Heroic Age Green She-Hulk cover. Fantastic cover, kind of hard to find, not super hard to find, but glad to add this to my collection. Been eye for a while, got it for a good price, so glad to have that as well. So that's it for my Raw Comics. Now... I'm going to show you a couple slabs or graded comics that I've picked up recently. Picked up this uh, Comico Johnny Quest number one. Of course, I'd like to have the other Johnny Quest number one, but it's it's pretty up there in price. Picked this up. Live action movie supposed to be coming. 9-8. CBCS um, has been doing good at CGC lately, but got this for a great price. So, picked that up as well. Then, I got a Thundercats number 10 9.8. This I just picked up on a whim on eBay. It was super, super cheap for the price. I think I paid 48 bucks for it. So, Master Universe, Thundercats, Child of the 80s. If I can find a 9.8 for a decent price, I'll pull the trigger every time. Happy to add this to my run that I've been trying to complete. This is the Masters of the Universe number 8, 9.8. For those that know, yes. For those that don't know, 
trying to complete a whole 1986 Marvel star run of 1 through 13 of the Masters of the Universe. So with number 8, I'm now only missing issues number 5 and number 6 and 9.8. There's a guy on eBay that you list, usually lists them every now and then. I'm always contacting him saying, hey, do you have any? And he's like, no. And then when he does list them, I'm like, hey, can I just buy them now from you? He's like, no, we're going to let the auction run. So I've missed out on a couple, but number five, I'm like this, no fanya. Number five and number six, how about that? DNA Card World, the slab that I picked up from them. This is a great book. Um, Golden Age, and we're talking about the first appearance of Uncle Scrooge. So this is the four color 178. It was also came out in 1940, December 1947. Awesome Christmas cover. First appearance of Uncle Scrooge. Fantastic book. Um, I got it for pretty much market price, but this is definitely one book that couldn't pass up because I do love me some Disney. Glad to have this. There's a couple other Disney keys I want, especially from, from Golden Age, but my bank account doesn't doesn't want it but anyhow great book another thing i like to collect is funko pops what's the deal with this pop life and when is it gonna fade out not super hardcore collector but i do pick up what i like picked a couple of funkos up over the over the holidays past couple months one that i did pick up like i said i'm a disney fan this was the epcot 35th anniversary figment funko next i got from hot topic was the this was actually part of the, the Disney Treasures box. But I got this Hot Topic Tiki Stitch Funko. It's scented, smells like pineapples. And keeping with Disney, next thing I got was their Disney World Ride exclusive. This is the Splash Mountain Funko. Um, I was hunting for these. I was even when I was in Disney World back in October. Tried to pick this up, they didn't have it. Looked online, didn't have it. They just listed a bunch of these online again. So I was able to pick this up on there. I got the Target exclusive Pikachu Funko Pop. But not only this one. But wait, there's more. Pika Pika. That's what he says, right? My uh, my seven year old loves freaking Pokemon. So I actually had to buy him one because if not, he'd, keep, he'd always be down in my home office asking if he could have it, open it up, play with it. I got the laughing prince adam i actually pre-ordered this right before sdcc this year and it didn't come till pretty much november so yeah that's still two months ago but this thing is freaking awesome so see if we can get this up in here focus there we go great figure and for secret santa i had a secret santa and he sent me these uh, Super 7 Masters of the Universe figures. We got Battle Armor, He-Man, and we have Scare Glow. So this is really awesome. Cool ass Secret Santa gift. Definitely knows me, definitely knows who I like. Huge Masters of the Universe fan, so I'm loving those. I'm all over the place with stuff I've got here. But if you grew up in the 80s, you collected Garbage Pail Kids. This is another thing that I pre-ordered right before actually this is right before baltimore which was in september but tops website there they have on demand sets of garbage pill kids and they had a, a garbage pill kid meme set and it was print it was on demand supposed to last for six days but within 24 hours for some reason it sold out and it's got all these cool little uh 80s memes and some are great um one of the ones i really ordered it for was got freaking atom bomb some are some of the cards are really great some are bad they send it in this little hard plastic gift um uh, gif hard plastic case and it's got a little cushion on the back and then it's shipped inside this tops box with a little foam protector in there so it's it's protected. At one point, I had I emailed them and said, hey, where's my freaking set that I ordered? And I don't know if they had printing issues or what, but um, they got back to me and said that it would be shipping in the next couple weeks. So this, I'm not behind on. I did actually just get this probably about a week ago. 
This is pretty cool. It's not Garbage Pail Kids, but Magic Marker Art does a lot of Garbage Pail Kid type stuff. Mark, uh, Mark Pingator, Mark Ping, Pingator, but uh, I ordered this awesome Christmas card. <laughs> That's pretty cool, huh? Merry Christmas. And it says Rifled, Rifled Ralphie, and then it says inside, it says you'll shoot your eye out. With the card, they sent me this, this little uh, collector card that comes with it. So that was pretty cool. Um, like I said, Magic Marker Art, they have a lot of uh, Garbage Pail Kid. I mean, they look just like Garbage Pail Kids. They're just not called Garbage Pail Kids. They got like Thundercats type ones. They have Marvel ones they're getting ready to launch. Um, so check them out. Google them. You can pre-order a bunch of their stuff. But the card was like three bucks online, and I couldn't help but pick it up. I forgot the most important gift. I forgot the most important gift that I got from my wife for Christmas. And she's like, you're always hard to shop for. I don't know what to buy you. But she hit it out of the park this time. And she got me this awesome custom made Wonder Woman lamp from my home office. So this thing's awesome. I haven't put a, I haven't put a bulb in it yet. Cool, cool. So... This thing's really, really cool. The guy actually uses actual comic sheets and then makes the makes it on the shade um, and then fixes it up. Uh, he has lamps. He has light, light switch cases. He does custom comic boxes. I'll put a link in the description of this video to the guy's website. Um, I, f I completely apologize because I totally forgot what the guy's company's name is. I did mention it on my Instagram account when I posted picture of this bad boy but i like the lamp i love lamp i love lamp i love lamp but hey <laughs> that's what i got this time guys i'll try to be more consistent with my haul videos couldn't find the right word to use there but appreciate you guys watching and if you haven't done so please subscribe click that bell notification and i'll see you guys next time Woo <laughs> for the right for the rugged, for the rugged, for the rugged. Been a little too nice to y'all. Now I got a price on y'all. Snake eyes with dice.